No, in an era, in an era of disruptive politics, I think many countries have a role to play. But I think one of the most stable nations, whatever might be the problems that we face, is clearly India. In Asia today, I think India and China are by far the two nations that have, I think, a larger uh, perspective on what's, what's taking place. In the earlier, uh, the West Asia had many countries like Egypt, etc., which have all now, I think, declined in certain um, in approach and whatnot. So, we need a sort of what I would say, how do you get people to recognize what, it, what are India's values in many ways, which I think are in many ways remarkable I mean, when you talk to people across the globe. Most countries have very narrow vision. I mean, India may not, I mean, economically we're just coming into our own now. But I think even long before that, we have had a far greater vision of what we needed to, to be. So I think that, if that can be sort of pushed forward. Now, if you take China, for instance, I know that President Xi has become a probably one of the, perhaps the most important leader in the world or whatever it is. But I think it's, he, has, he has a much more China-centric view than for, for instance Indian leaders. I mean the Indian Prime Minister, people do criticize the Indian Prime Minister, President Prime Minister of, you know, being larger than life sometimes. But the fact of the matter is I think beneath all that there is a vision of India which is an inclusive one which is much grander. So I think as we build up our economic muscle to a greater extent, as we build up our innovative capabilities and whatnot. I think this is going to be India's strength. Across the world, wherever you have, I, guess I have been and I met with leaders, everybody has a reasonably good word to say about India. I mean, the way India runs is, uh, it's work. I mean, it's it's, there's a lot of, there are a lot of things that are in a mess, no doubt, but the fact of the matter is there is an India which transcends. Mm -hmm. So I think that is where I think we uh, we need to match that vision with our capabilities. And I hope that's what India would achieve in the period to come.